hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are continuing our php blog admin panel so guys now in this video we'll be learning about how to make a navbar and design the navbar part with the logo where we are going to fetch in that navbar our categories so for example i'll just show you over here so this is a fund of webit blog website where all these categories are fetched over here and then this is your logo so same similar design we are going to design guys so let's get started with it so first let's move to our front end that is your index.php let's go to our editor here index.php here is your navbar guys so let's move includes navbar.php perfect so now let's move at the top we'll create one div so just a simple div then your container row column md12 i mean three and then left out for anything you want to advertise or anything so that will be your content over here okay so now guys over here let's give the image where we will tell class is equal to 100 percent funda of web it and the image path so our image path right now we don't have anything so let's create one image folder inside assets images all set so let's tell assets folder images folder forward slash logo dot png or jpg anything okay so let's come back assets folder images inside this image let me just put my logo so let's copy this and paste that so this is our logo is all set now the navbar is separate so guys as you can see over here your blog name let's remove that and keep it null and we will add this class for display block d block which will be visible to your mobile and i do want to show in tablet mode d md none that is your laptop mode so i don't want to show anymore let's refresh okay so let's give a color so we can separate them so instead of navbar light bg light let's give bg primary refresh cool so your text is not visible you can just give the navbar hyphen light save and that makes it to white i mean black let's give dark refresh okay cool so if you want you can edit it also guys now let's get back so let's move to ul tag where margin end refresh it comes over here so now guys let's get our categories so these are our categories which we want to show html php laravel react.js okay we don't want about us over here only we are going to loop this so let's begin with php open php close php let's type the query where for the navbar so navbar category is equal to not capital we have to make it small either just make it in this way so this is the official way guys and let's select all the fields from your table name so my table name is as you can see it is categories guys so let's categories and what data you have to select from here where as if you remember we have created the navbar status so whatever we want to show that only will be visible else we should not show so let's call that navbar underscore status is equal to if it is zero only then you have to show and and status is equal to zero guys so i'll just show you that 
your number and your status both it should be zero if you make it to one either your status or your number one to whatever it it will not show your data so now let's run this query guys with the help of mysql i underscore query function where first your database connection so dollar con and then your query so navbar query okay so make sure your database connection is given let's move to index.php because here navbar is included and we want to give the db connection so what we have to do is that first let's get our db connection from our admin panel so go to your admin config here your db con so let's include that guys I will tell admin forward slash config forward slash dbcon dot php all set let's take this both things your session and your database connection and paste in our header dot php so we may not call again and again so let's move to our header header dot php and paste that at the top of the page open php close php done and then guys you need to make sure if you're calling this header in each file like your login page you're calling the header right so just remove this session we don't need to start again because already session is started so you need to paste up and down same with your register code also so you can move with your register and yep let's make it at the top once your header sets done now let's get back to our index page and work on our navbar part so now guys we were on the query so now let's select from here if with the help of mysql line number of rows we will check if any record exists or not if it is greater than zero we will tell yes record exists else it will just show us dummy okay so you can just move continue over here using for each loop open and close let's take this executed as dollar nav items so this nav items you can show in your list view so let me just divide php and take your navbar component so let me just align this perfect so let's take this nav item guys from here you are going to show all the item field names so nav item of your name so this is my name over here category name and then guys same we are going to fetch the url so let's copy this and go in your href and paste that so over here you are going to call your slug that is your url part which is over here slug and here you can see html hyphen tutorial it's going on right so that's it guys and now let's test it let's get back refresh perfect so you can see that data is coming let me just make the class to text hyphen white so it looks more brighter perfect so now guys let's click on this what happens it will go to your html tutorial right so we have to create a correct path for it let's go back and let's give category dot php question mark where we will this is a category so you can give category is equal to where c all set now guys let's refresh and view the page so click on html where you can find this page let's create this get back let's create a new page category.php and design this page guys so let's move it let's copy the design 
let me just control a c and paste here and you can create a breadcrumb also or not an issue let's refresh perfect so let's go to home page if you click on category which is coming your php tutorial okay so instead of c let's let me keep it to title or name so let's get back to your navbar.php because c is not visible let's keep it title save and once again let's try over here click php perfect so title is our php tutorials where we are going to fetch the data in next video so guys in this video we have successfully completed how to get our uh, category data in our navbar and let's continue next video guys for fetching the categories details so if i click on html html post should come from your database whatever you have added so if you click on php so php post only should be visible so guys let's continue next video thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share